My mind went back. Brother Charlie, I was just a boy. Mom would listen to the radio program. As soon as the program went off, she cut the radio off. Blake, she'd go through the house. And the next thing I heard was her calling out to God. She raised us to love the Lord. Amen. Al, she raised us to love the men of God. And I was thinking this morning was coming down the road. All of us are here this morning, Wanda, Tiny, Linda. Mom's here. I think I've got all my kids. <laughs> I believe they're here somewhere. <laughs> Brother Charlie's been picking them out here and there. We might not never meet like this again. None of us know. But Brother Charlie, I thank the Lord for a mother that sacrificed everything for us. She's told me often, Rick, about the time she didn't have much to eat. I think the older girls, maybe Linda and Tiny, Charles, maybe Frances, was alive, David. She went in and fixed him something to eat. Didn't have enough for herself. She went out the door and told him, said, sit down and eat. Just a little later, Tiny ran out and said, Mama, there's a man backing up at the front porch. He's got a truckload of groceries. And I thank the Lord for that, Brother Mama. I thank God for what I've been raised in. There's so much, so many times that my mother has been sick. Different things, Nora, has happened. She's called for prayer. Brother Charlie, that's why I'm here. I know that while I was out hunting, she was somewhere praying for me. She prayed for you when you was in California so much. But I want to tell this church how much I appreciate this. Brother Alonzo. It's such an honor. I was thinking about as I come down the road, Brother Charlie, so many things. The only time I ever remember your daddy coming to our house, my older sister passed away, Frances. She was crippled. Marty, Brother Jesse, stood crying. And he told my mother, he said, Sister Bell, I didn't know you had a child like this. Or I would have seen to it she could have been in church. So many things, Brother Gary, that's sticking in my mind this Man. morning. I'm so thankful for what? I'm thankful for this preaching. Amen. Amen. This is what I brought up on. Yeah. I remember the tent sitting here when we come up. I remember time up in Old Harlan when they had the tent set up. Harrison, I wasn't even right, but I went up there. Yeah. Brother Jesse up, said, open the door and tell him children to come in. Felt so small, Brother Charlie. Be in front of such a wonderful, great man. Brother, that's why I'm here, is that preaching. And of course, the blood of Christ done it all. Amen. But Brother Gary, we had to have somebody to lead us there. I thank the Lord for it. I appreciate it. Brother Charlie, you and Sister Joy won't know what you meant to us. Mom always tells me, she said, son, she said, when I leave, she said, get Brother Charlie to preach my funeral. Said if you can't get Brother Paul, you've been in, 
Y'all been an anchor for us, Brother Charlie. I thank the Lord for you. all of you people. Some of you I don't know this morning. But I appreciate I've got family sitting all over this church. How church will travel. <laughs> but I thank the Lord that I've got my children here this morning. And if there's anything that I can say to my family, Let's heed the, to the Word of God that was preached this morning. There, and that's what it's going to take for us to make it. If we get to heaven, brothers, we're going to have to go by it. We're going to have to go by it. I thank the Lord for being here. Everybody here this morning, thank you. I appreciate it. Pray for us.